Hello everyone, I am the Helpful Witch and today I want to discuss some more of my theories about Hogwarts Legacy. As always, please subscribe if you want to see more from me and also let me know in the comments below what are your theories about Hogwarts Legacy. Now, let's get into the video. One of the first things I want to discuss is the involvement of the Ministry of Magic. Now, what interests me about this is that we've not really heard much during the game trailers and showcases about the Ministry of Magic during these times. However, with a Goblin Rebellion on our hands, I think the Ministry of Magic is going to have to play an important role within the story. This is because, as anybody could have guessed, if there is a goblin rebellion or any rebellion of any of the magical creatures around the wizarding world, probably the Ministry of Magic is going to involve itself in trying to resolve the conflict or understand what the issues are at play. One of the points that was already established in the Harry Potter lore is that there's been a couple of goblin rebellions before even the times that we're gonna start in Hogwarts Legacy. So there has been already goblin rebellions before we meet Ranrock and we know that the Ministry was involved in these rebellions. Therefore we can imagine that with this new rebellion and Ranrock rising to power, we will probably encounter the Ministry of Magic trying to get a hold of him or at least pacify this rebellion. One of the points that the Goblin Rebellions were based upon, or possibly based upon, was particularly the Wands legislation. This is a legislation that basically says that only wizards and witches can have a wand, whilst magical beasts and creatures cannot possess a wand. Although the legislation will be stopping the goblins from buying a wand, nothing necessarily stops them from actually finding a lost wand. So this is where I think the possibly Wand of Merlin, the one with, that we have seen in the Collector's Edition, could play a big role, because this could be actually one of the things that Ranrock wants to get, not just because of the powers that this wand specifically have with the ancient magic, but maybe this wand could be used also to gather other wands or help this Goblin Rebellion to gain more power over the Wizarding World. And so one thing is for certain that the Ministry of Magic would not want to get goblins more power and they would want to maintain this power struggle against the goblins and ensure that the wizarding world in terms of wizards and witches, magical being above everybody else. And that's why I find it very interesting that we've not seen anything about the Ministry of Magic. How come the Ministry of Magic is not involved in this Goblin Rebellion? And why are there no Ministry of Magic people? For example, in Hogsmeade, when Rockwood attacks us with a troll and Ranrock is just there in the Hogsmeade streets. I find this very interesting and I think this is one of the big parts that they've not shown us because there is no way that there is no involvement from the Ministry of Magic in this story. We have seen in the past with the Harry Potter books that the Ministry of Magic tends to work quite behind the scene and doesn't want to be really seen by the public, I guess, in terms of the things that they do and the deals that they strike behind people's back, I guess. But we still, I think, would expect to have some information regarding the Ministry of Magic around this time. I think we will see actually that the person coming with us to Hogwarts next to Fig in the carriage is going to be this Ministry of Magic person or at least one of the people that we know works at the Ministry of Magic and I think there is going to be actually other people that we don't know of yet working at the Ministry of Magic that we're going to encounter throughout our story. Now another reason I think the Ministry of Magic is going to play a big part in this game is also because there is another unregulated, I don't want to say beast or creature because it's neither of those, but the Inferi. Now we've seen a lot of them in various trailers, we know they're gonna be one of the main antagonists that we're gonna face off. We know that this is an illegal practice amongst witches and wizards, therefore that's another point that I think the Ministry of Magic will want to get a hold of and try to understand 
who is doing them so that they can point them to Azkaban. I think this is very, again, a point that it can't really be hidden too much if there is so many, especially if we're gonna be fighting all of these people around the open world areas and we're gonna probably find Inferi in caves and we've also seen them in, in just a normal field, therefore in the open world. I doubt that this would be something super secret that nobody knows that it's happening and therefore I'd imagine that the Ministry of Magic actually has heard that there is Inferi and I would assume that they would want to put a stop to these. Another point I raised in one of my previous videos is actually about the dark curses, the dark magic. What are they going to do against us using all of this dark magic? Also, possibly Sebastian is going to be using especially Crucio and other dark arts. Therefore, I think it would be interesting to see what the Ministry of Magic would do to us or if there is even a punishment if we need to be careful to not be found while we're using them or what other options that we're gonna get in terms of the Ministry of Magic involvement with all of these dark arts. It was already forbidden to use some of these spells such as Avada Kedavra, Crucio and Imperio. These were already forbidden. Therefore, I imagine all of the students using them are gonna spend life at Azkaban. Probably not, but I would still imagine that the ministry is going to be relatively involved, especially possibly at the end in terms of establishing a punishment for us or for Sebastian or other people that have used the unforgivable curses during our stay at Hogwarts. So I find it very curious that we've not actually seen any mention of the Ministry of Magic throughout all of these teasers and clips that we've seen, because I think all of these themes are gonna involve the Ministry of Magic quite a lot. Even during the Harry Potter times in the books and even during Newt's Commander times as well, there is a lot of involvement of the Ministry of Magic. They seem to be kind of the third party, there is always Hogwarts, then the villain, and then there is the Ministry of Magic that it's always either being corrupted or being overthrown or still not being fully on Hogwarts side. The Ministry of Magic is supposed to be the good guys still, but they're not necessarily always the good guys. So I wonder whether this is going to play a part in our story in terms of possibly the Ministry of Magic being corrupted and having some people on the inside, maybe Rockwood or somebody else has infiltrated the Ministry of Magic. Maybe there is somebody under the Imperious Curse and that's why they're not acting upon, you know, stopping the Inferi or stopping the Goblin Rebellion or trying to at least or spreading bad rumors on the Daily Prophet so that people don't actually know how bad the Goblin Rebellion is getting. I think this is definitely something possible. I think the Ministry of Magic is gonna have a bigger role that we've not yet seen. We've already given a very big role to Merlin when Merlin was mentioned once. Basically during all of these trailers we've seen basically the glass stained window saying Merlin and then we've seen a puzzle saying maybe you will encounter some puzzles from Merlin. We know Merlin is gonna play a big part in all of this so I'd imagine even the Ministry of Magic is gonna play a big part although we've not seen or heard much about it, I think they're going to be one of the key players throughout all of this rebellion and the ending. We also saw in the first reveal trailer a shot about the Dementors, which again suggests Azkaban, especially given the structure kind of look like Azkaban, those very dark, very straight walls that Azkaban is famous for. But again, we've not seen much about it and some people even wonder whether they've scrapped completely the Dementors. Now I don't think they've scrapped the Dementors because the Dementors means also getting a Patronus and I think a Patronus is one of those key spells that everybody wants to be able to cast. So I think we're going to be able to cast it, meaning that we will get the Dementors in the game. But again, now we're going into another conversation of whether we're going to get the physical Patronus, corporeal, I guess, or not corporeal. I think there might be a preset corporeal for all of us, because I've not mentioned that we can import it from the wizarding test that you can take over on Pottermore. Therefore, I think there is going to be maybe one animal for everybody, or we just will not do a corporeal Patronus at all. 
But going back to their Dementors, I definitely think that we will see Dementors. And again, Dementors are usually some creatures that have got a deal with the Ministry. So again, I think there might be, maybe possibly, Sebastian will get into Azkaban because he uses a Unforgivable Curse. And maybe we will break him out of Azkaban and that's why we will need to learn Patronuses because we'll need to ward off all of the Dementors and go and rescue him from Azkaban. But it's one of the other signs that makes me think that we will have a play, you know, against or possibly with, depending on how we choose to act, the Ministry of Magic. I wonder if Fig is also involved with the Ministry of Magic because he's in the carriage with us when that person, which I'm assuming is from the Ministry, they seem to be not necessarily in cahoots but they both know what's going on regarding the rebellion, they're kind of telling us that this is what we need to help them with or be careful of or what they just saved us from. But yeah, I've not heard many people speaking about the importance of the ministry or what the importance of the ministry will be during our time at Hogwarts. And I really think it's going to play a big part. I think it's going to be very involved or not necessarily very involved within our journey, but at least involved enough for us to actually have to be careful of what we do around the world because the Ministry of Magic doesn't want us to do something. Or for example, the Ministry of Magic actually being the ones that recruit us and tells us to go to Hogwarts or being the ones behind why we have a sad background or why we start in the fifth year. I definitely think that they will have to approve it. I think to start in the fifth year we need to have the ministry backing because I doubt that any 15 year old or whatever you are in your fifth years you can't go just to Hogwarts and say hey please can I study here. So I think the Ministry of Magic needs to approve our study there. So I think they're gonna play a part who knows how big this part is going to be i know a lot of people in the comments of one of my previous videos were mentioning the ministry of magic a lot but i haven't actually heard it much during other videos that i've seen or other people crafting theories so i really wanted to kind of put it out there i know it's not necessarily a full-fledged theory because we have so little to go on regarding all of this stuff about the ministry of magic but i definitely think that it will play a part and i wanted to kind of put it out there again so that i can say i called it <laughs> once the game releases in February and say here it is the proof that I said that the Ministry of Magic was gonna play a part in Hogwarts Legacy. So yeah, what do you think? Do you think the Ministry of Magic is going to play a part? Do you think we won't even encounter it even once the Ministry of Magic will play no part? Absolutely. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I always enjoy reading your theories. It's always so interesting to actually see what other people have to say. I actually find it also useful because sometimes I get stuck in my own head and I think that I have all the answers and then I read another theory and I'm like, hmm, this is really interesting. Maybe I can take some inspiration. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please subscribe i really really would appreciate it and i hope to see you in my next video so thank you again for making it until the end of one of my videos and i'll see you next time bye